Champion Christian and Southwestern Adventist today on YouTube. It's the Tigers at 5-2 and two and 3-1 and one in Southwest Region play. And the Knights at 0-9 oh and 0-4 and oh and in Southwest Region play. Welcome back, everybody. Chris Shima, glad to be with you. Those of you just joining us for the first time here tonight, Happy New Year to you as the Knights and Tigers kick things off here in the first home game for Southwestern and Venice in 2023. Let's meet the starting lineups for the uh, champion Tigers, sixth ranked in the NCCAA. It's uh, Mo Capace in his third season, starting number 13, A.J. Williams. Number 14, Braylon Hawkins. Number 15 is Jason Garcia. Number 23, Xavier Hall. Number 32 is K.J. Quarter. Meanwhile, for Tyler Woldridge and Southwestern Venice, the night starting today, number zero is Justin Lamb, number five, Ephraim Viadex, number 10, Billy Gold, number 24, Josiah Hazelton, and number 33 is Felix Smith. So the Knights have been off really since the 15th. They played an exhibition against Texas A&M International on the 15th. Their last game that counted was that home game that we had for you against Holy Patriot, the Knights lost that one in a nail-biter, 63-58. to 58. The Tigers have been busy sun and surfing and hooping up in Hawaii. They're just back. They're literally off the plane from Hawaii. They played a couple exhibitions against uh, Division II opponents, Hawaii Pacific and Chaminade. So the sun-kissed Tigers and the Knights to open up the home portion of the 2023 season for Southwestern and Venice. Uh, they will play seven games in January. Four of those will be at home. As we're set to go, it will be Felix Smith and Xavier Hall to tip it up for champion. Knights fans, this is a very bouncy Tigers team. They're streaky from behind the arc. A lot of athleticism, so buckle up. Going to be a tough one for the Knights. They're going to have to be on the ball. Here is uh, K.J. Quarter getting it out to Hall for three. Grazes the rim. That's it. Lamb's got the rebound. Justin Lamb, 7.6 points, 5.1 rebounds. Good rebounding guard, the senior from Huntsville. Top of the key, Hazelton. Here is Gold. Billy Gold, we've seen him get hot from behind the arc this season. Viadex with the shot clock at 10. Top of the key, it's Lamb for three off the back iron. Tipped rebound, and it's Garcia for the Tigers. Jason Garcia throws it ahead. Extra pass goes to Hall. Cross court now. Williams down low. Braylon Hawkins, the big guy, has it ripped away by Hazelton. Viadex now into the forecourt. Minute in, no points yet for either side. Viadex. Mentioned it before, one of the most consistent players in the region offensively. Shot clock down to nine. Billy Gold with seven. Swings it out. Open look, Lamb. So Lamb 0 for 2. Hawkins with the rebound. Hawkins the uh, top rebounder in Division 2. As A.J. Williams with the Hezzy in score. Williams, 12th in scoring in Division II at 20.8. Braylon Hawkins, to finish my thought, 11.5 rebounds per ball game. Tops in D2. So good rebounding Tigers team. Good offensive rebounding Tigers team. 14.3 a game. Third best in Division II. Knights are going to have to get on the defensive glass. So far, they've done that here in the opening minutes. Trailing 2 nothing, Shot clock at 4. It's Viadex trying to create. Out to gold corner 3. And the 3 pointer is not falling right now for Southwestern and Venice. Pushing into the 4 court KJ quarter. Out to Williams and he shuffled his feet. So AJ turns it over. Last regular season game for the Tigers was back on the 15th of December. They won at Kansas Christian. 76-75. That was part of a 1,500 mile trip. That included a one-and-one -one weekend in Nashville against uh, Welsh and Campbellsville, an NAIA school. So you've got a 1,500-mile trip in the middle of the month, and then you ring in the new year in Hawaii. 
This is a very jet lag champion team right now, leading at two zip here in the first two and a half minutes. Shot clock winding down again. Here is Viadex, blocked by Hawkins. Throw ahead by Garcia to Braylon. The hop step, scoop and score by Hawkins. Hawkins, 15 points, 11 and a half rebounds per ball game for the Tigers. Bad inbound pass there. Gold and Lamb not in sync. Knights turn it over, trailing it 4-0. Knights are scheduled to play Northlake at home on Tuesday. That game has been postponed, so Tigers fans, I'll be with you on Tiger TV on Tuesday for the doubleheader against Dallas Christian. Guys will play at 7 p.m. in that one. For the Tigers, they kind of ping-pong home and away in the month of uh, January. So they're home on Tuesday, 16th they're at Barclay, 20th back home against Arlington. A lot of Southwest region action. Hawkins, couple of pump fakes, short on the shot. Gold's got the rebound. Knights back on offense, trying to get on the board here. We're three minutes in. Billy Gold double teamed in the corner. Viadex, Hazel, or excuse me, Smith now to Gold. Gold fakes the pass. He's got Hall on him on a switch. Gold trying to get around him. Xavier Hall bodied him, and that's the first foul on the Tigers. So Tigers with a good start to the season at 5-2. and two. Like I said, they're hoppy. Fourth and rebounding overall in the NCAA, 41.8. They're plus 2.2. Knights are... Uh, about even with their opponents in rebounding per ball game at 36.4. Nice screen and the jumper good for Viadex. 12 points per ball game, 47% shooter. Four rebounds, three assists per ball game. Good season at the start for Viadex, the junior from Houston, Texas. Ball tipped out to Williams. AJ for three, no good. Rebound by Smith. Hazelton doubled up, being hounded, and he stepped out of bounds. So that pressure for the Tigers. Wondered the uh, Tigers women, both teams a little jet lagged, as I mentioned. They got off the plane at midnight and then had to come on the road less than 24 hours after being two time zones away, or is it three time zones away? Contested three, no good by Hall. So it took the champion women the first half to get their legs under them. Billy Gold for three, swishes it in. Gold, 33%, three-point shooter, 10 points per ball game. One of the best free throw shooters in the country at 94%. Hall, cross court to Garcia against the zone, fires a triple, can't get the bounce, ball tipped. Hawkins has it, put back is good. Braylon Hawkins' second field goal puts Champion back up 6-5. to five. We've played about five minutes here in this one. Gold hounded in the corner by Garcia. So the energy certainly there for the Tigers. Smith top of the key. Gold will shoot another one. Can't get the friendly bounce at home. Hawkins the rebound. Into the forecourt, Williams. Attacks, gives it to Hawkins. Hawkins had it poked away. Hazelton's got another steal. His second, but he throws it away. It's quarter scoop and score. KJ quarter on the board. Local product from Hot Springs. 7.3 points per ball game this season. Smith will step into a triple in and out. The looks have been good for the Knights. They just haven't gone down. Throw ahead, slam dunk Hall. Xavier Hall, 15.3 points per ball game. He has had some ridiculous dunks this year for the Tigers, like sports center worthy dunks. Viadex, here is Lamb out to gold for three. Ooh, halfway down. Thought he got fouled. Champion 10 to 5. Back in transition, Garcia's tip pass got it back down to Hawkins, blows it. Smith the board. Up and down we go. Not a lot of scoring, but a lot of action so far here in this one. Billy Gold the runner. Short, tipped rebound, comes back to Gold. Looking for contact. It's a late whistle. It was made all the way over on the far side. The official down low wasn't going to blow his whistle. 
But Billy Gold will go to the line. As I mentioned, he's third in Division Two in the NCAA, 94.4% from the charity stripe this season. Gold from Kingwood, 10 points per ball game, 35% shooter, 33% from three, and a rare free throw mess for Billy. A host of subs coming in for Mo Capace. Malik Laurent is going to come in. He's 21. Number zero, Marcus Blakely checks into the game. Number two, Damian Bowman, deadly three-point shooter off the bench for the Tigers. Somebody else is in, too. We'll tell you as soon as we can see him. So, Gold gets one out, too. He's got four of the six for the Knights. Uh, number tel uh, 12, excuse me, Josh Walpole also in. Uh, subs for Southwestern of Venice. Levi Rogers into the game, number 21. Three by Bowman. I told you he's deadly, and he buries his first off the bench. That was contested, too. So Viadex gold in the backcourt. Lamb still out there, as is Smith. And Levi Rogers, the five for Swayu right now. We're about seven minutes in, and Champion leads it by seven. Viadex had it ripped away. Bowman the steal. Damian throws it ahead to Walpole, who hangs. Blocked by Smith. Stays with it. Shot in and out. Laurent tips it out of bounds. And the Knights get a stop. Billy Gold is averaging 17.7 points per ball game in his last three at a season high, 22 against Holy Patriot. He's got four of the six at the start for Southwestern and Venice. Against the full court press, he and Viadex playing hot potato with it. Ahead to Lamb. Pull up by Lamb, no good. Bowman and rebound. Williams will bring it up. A.J. Williams. Second in assist per ball game, A.J., five and a half. Blakely. Walpole back out to Blakely. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Blakely traveled with the basketball, though, so the Tigers turn it over. Here is Smith. He's fouled on a reach by Walpole. Knights, 22.7 turnovers per game at home versus 15.6 on the road. The turnover margin is declining each month so far for Swayu. So we've seen improvement, but those numbers have to get better if they're going to get some wins in the win column. Currently 0-9, Swayu. Viadex hesitates, attacks out to Smith. Extra pass, corner shot by Brooks, who's into the game. Can't get the triple, Daniel Brooks. And then we have a whistle here. Looks like the ball's going to go. Maybe an issue with the, yeah, the clock's at 20. Shot clock at 20, that's not right. So we're eight minutes in. Now, wait a minute. They're going to give the ball to the Knights. Something might have happened off of our screen, or maybe I was looking at my notes, but either way, Knights will get it back here. Gold guarded by Blakely. Viadex. Williams on him. Shot clock at nine. Viadex down to Rogers. Out to Gold. Fakes the three. Looking for Levi. It was tipped by Williams. Then... Here's Brooks with the steal jumper. No, Walpole the rebound. Here comes Champion, leading by seven. Williams, cross court, Bowman. Yes, again. You can't let him get looks like that. Champion opens up a 10 point lead. Timeout, Southwestern and Venice. 16 to 6. The Tigers over the Knights. About eight and a half minutes in. We'll be back.
Champion out to a 10-point lead. Chris Sheeman, glad to be back with you from the home studio in Greenville, South Carolina. We're watching the Tigers and Knights from Keene, Texas. First home game of 2023 for the Southwestern Adventist men. As Viadex pushes into the forecourt. Rogers, the bunny, no good. Laurent with the rebound. Good shot blocker, Malik Laurent. Walpole trying to get it down to him. Rogers off the tip, throws it ahead to Brooks. Brooks, a little hanging shot by Daniel Brooks. Got it to go, sophomore from Fort Worth. A couple players out today, Kavon Williams, Brian Fields. So some guys getting uh, extra minutes. Hanging and scoring there was uh, Walpole. Averages six a game off the bench. Champion 18 to 8. Smith has it poked away. A.J. Williams the steal. Williams turns on the jet scores for his second bucket. Williams 20.8 per ball game. The senior with Braylon Hawkins. Going all the way back to when I did the uh, what a block. I told you about his shot blocking, didn't I? Malik Laurent sends it away. A.J. Williams blocked by Viadex, and then a tie-up between Gold and Laurent. How about the little guy, Billy Gold? Tying up Malik Laurent, who's built like a tight end. 20-8 champion. Jump ball possession arrow favors the Knights. So past the midway point in this first half, Gold into the forecourt. Going back to when I did the ACCA tournament, though, in Joplin. Uh, Williams and Hawkins, such a staple at Champion Christian. They really have helped build this program. Mo Capace now in his third year. His dad out there watching. A rare uh, road broadcast for you. Mr. President, if you're out there, hello. Levi Rogers looking to post up on Laurent. Laurent blocks it again. He's something else. Malik Laurent, this season, seven blocks. He's uh, been more of a reserve this year. Knight's got to go quick, by the way. Just one on the shot clock. So it's a catch and shoot here for the Knights. Taz Glover into the game for Mo Capace and... Hazelton returns for Tyler Woldridge. Got a hoist, and that's the third block already in the last oh, minute or so for Laurent. So Taz Glover, Blakely, Laurent, Bowman, and Walpole, the 5 4 champion. As Blakely gets it out, tip pass Walpole. Turn around shot. No. Tried to follow his miss. It's tipped. And it comes to Brooks, who brings it into the forecourt. Viadex, nice crossover. Viadex rejected. Lorentz fourth block. The defense for champion. Bad pass by Glover. Rogers throws it ahead. And the fast break opportunity for Brooks. Daniel Brooks, four points off the bench. 20 to 10 champion inside nine to go in the half. Taz Glover top of the key against the zone. It's a deep look by Blakely in an air ball and a foul there by Walpole. I don't know what he's complaining about. He has had two clear fouls and he has not thought he's done any wrong on either one of them. Incorrect, Viadex. Mentioned it during the women's game. They don't call over the back anymore, quote-unquote. But the same defensive rules apply where you can't just, you know, do whatever you want behind somebody in the name of trying to get a rebound. Looks like Rodgers was out of bounds. So another turnover for the Knights as Hawkins comes back into the game, as does Quarter. Walpole and Laurent, good minutes off the bench. Both of those players. 
So champion up by 10 with the basketball as Glover brings it into the forecourt. Bowman guarded by Hazelton. Blakely will try another deep one. That one also way off. Rogers the rebound. Lamb will slow it down for the Knights. Champion 80 points per ball game. Knights 66. So they want to try to keep the possessions to a minimum. Lamb down to Rogers. Had it poked away. Got it back. Turns and scores. So Levi Rogers first bucket. Sophomore from Orange, Texas. Quarter from the elbow out to Bowman. Can't give him space. Finally misses. Hit his first two. Viadex into the forecourt. They have keyed on him defensively. Brooks to Hazelton. Back to Brooks. The runner from the baseline almost went down. We've said that a lot tonight for the Tigers, or excuse me, for the Knights. They've had a few come halfway down, go out. Braylon Hawkins, good ball movement, misses the shot, though. Viadex attacks. Scoop. Offensive foul going to be called. So unlucky break there for the Knights as Billy Gold checks back in for Brooks. Looks like uh, A.J. Williams is back out there for champion as well. Blakely to the bench. Mention the offensive rebounding for the Tigers. Braylon Hawkins leads Division II. He averages 5.3 offensive rebounds per game. And I say that, and he does it again. That's his third offensive rebound here tonight. Hawkins has six, most of it on the putback. 22-12, to 12, champions lead is 10 again. Gold is fouled by Glover. I mentioned this, I did this uh, Christmas tournament with this junior college that I work with, and they are constantly in the bonus and double, sending their opponents into the bonus and double bonus. But those kinds of fouls, as you see Taz Glover getting some instruction there, you live with it a little bit. You get the instruction, obviously, from the coaching staff because you don't want them. You don't ever want fouls, but... You live with the kind of fouls on the break and on the press and things like that where you're being aggressive and you're trying to do the right thing. Knights with another turnover here. So inside six to go in this first half. Champion not exactly lighting it up, but Knights are ice cold, just 12 on the board. A.J. Williams out deep. Garcia cross court. Hawkins contested three. Not a great sequence there for the Tigers. Gold throw ahead to Pfeiffer, who's in the game. That's Eric Pfeiffer with the basketball. Top of the key, it's Smith. Hanging shot is good by Felix Smith. Freshman from Dallas gets on the board. 22 14. Well, the pass is coming fast and furious for the Tigers, and Braylon Hawkins on the reverse is up to eight points. Leading all scores, Bowman's got six, four for A.J. Williams. Leaders for champion. Tripping foul there, so Lamb hit the deck. Billy Gold and Daniel Brooks with four apiece to lead SWIU here at the five-minute mark. In this opening half. Pfeiffer on the wing. Guarded by Garcia. Low pass. Gold will attack. Swings it out. Smith corner three. Too strong. Tip for the rebound. Nice hustle there by Pfeiffer. Gold triggers it. Might have gotten hit on the arm there. Hazelton the offensive rebound. Gold couple of fakes. Open look for Lamb. Yes. Finally one goes down for the Knights. 
Justin Lamb, 46% from three, 7.6 points per ball game, five rebounds. Hawkins answers right back, first player in the game in double figures. They have no answer down low for Braylon Hawkins here tonight. Lamb will try a corner shot, back-to-back -back triples from that spot for Justin Lamb. He's got six quick ones. Knights got to get some stops now. Hopkins into the game. Passes down low. Quarter lost it. So Dylan Hopkins, number five for champion. Number 15 is Jason Garcia. He started the game back in. And another bucket, this time Eric Pfeiffer. So a little bit of a run now for the Knights. Eight out of the last ten scored by Southwestern and Venice. They get a steal. Lamb into the forecourt. Heat check for Lamb, and that's going to go out of bounds. So 8-2 to two run for Swayu makes it a four-point game. Hawkins is going to get a breather. Hall back in, quarter hangs and scores. Second field goal for KJ. Hazelton pass tipped out to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer rejected it, swatted by Hall. Xavier Hall. Well, he's six foot five. Doesn't he look like he's like six nine? out there. He's got that wingspan. Malik Laurent checking in for champion. Here is Pfeiffer. Step back three. Yes! Shot starting the fall for the Knights. Pfeiffer second field goal. He's got five and it's a three point game. Williams tries to answer and he does. AJ from downtown. He's up to seven on the night. 31-25 champion. Billy Gold guarded by quarter. Lamb, Knights working the clock. It's down to nine. Rogers from the half circle off the back iron. Rebound Laurent. That's the difference this year as Williams fires the triple. Back to back threes for AJ. This Tigers team has so much depth. You send out Hawkins, you bring in Laurent, and it's like you don't miss a beat. So champion starting to pull away again. Tyler Woldridge calls timeout. 2-0-1 to go in the half. We'll be back. That's me. Welcome back, everybody. Chris Shima, glad to be with you. Press is still on for the Tigers. Champion by six, inside two to go in the half. Viadex, Gold, Pfeiffer, Lamb, Rogers right now. Shot clock is at 12. Levi Rogers with the shot clock at seven. Now... Pfeiffer will fire a contested shot. Rogers, the offensive rebound. Gets it out. Lamb, the bunny, is good. At the free throw line, Justin Lamb with eight quick points. And it's a four-point game. Champions led by as many as 12 here tonight. Garcia scooped to Hall. And Hall airmails that out of bounds. That's where the wingspan doesn't work for you. So credit the Knights, it's been mentioned at the early 
stages of this one, they were getting a lot of looks. The shots just were going halfway down and bouncing out. Well, now they're going all the way down for the Knights. Champions got to adjust here. Pick it up on the defense again. Viadex to Lamb. Back to Viadex. Nearing a minute to go in the half. Shot clock at eight. Viadex scoop over to Gold. Corner three by Billy is short. Rebound by Quarter. Quarter surveys. Extra pass to Hall for three. No. Here is Viadex. Splits two defenders. Almost lost it. Got it back. Now Lamb back to Viadex. And Viadex with a clear path. Just his second field goal, and it's a two-point game just like that. Williams takes a quick shot. His third three-pointer, A.J. Williams, if not for his sharp shooting to close the half, champion might be down. Now, wait a minute. They changed the score. It's an eight-point lead now. I think we were missing some points on the scoreboard. Let me see what I got here. So we got a whistle with one second to go. 25, 30, 33. I've got 30, yeah, 37. 37 to, yeah, 20. Okay, so champion, that score didn't look right to me, and I apologize, folks. The scoreboard at the gym is an absolute mess. It always is, so I apologize. I'm just, I'm looking what you're looking at. Maybe I'll keep the score myself in the second half if I can figure that out. So Lamb at the line, misses the shot. Seconds to work with here. Williams at the buzzer, no good. And Champion, led by as many as 12, thanks to A.J. Williams, they go into the locker room up by 8, 37-29 over Southwestern and Venice after 20 minutes. We'll be back with the second half in just a little bit. Don't go too far.
Welcome back, everybody. It's uh, Champion Christian 37, Southwestern at Venice 29 at the half. The sixth ranked Tigers at 5 and 2 and 3 and 1 in Southwest Region play. Knights still looking for their first win of the year at 0 and 9 and 0 and 4. It'll be Tigers basketball as we're underway here in the final 20. Uh, two players in double figures for the Tigers. Oh, there's that. There's that athleticism by Xavier Hall and the alley-oop by A.J. Williams. So Hall, his second field goal, but a capital letters on that one as the Tigers push it back out to a 10-point lead. They've led by as many as 12. So as I was saying before Xavier Hall rudely interrupted me, two players in double figures for the Tigers, A.J. Williams, 13 points, Braylon Hawkins with 10 uh, Damian Bowman off the bench with a couple triples. He's got six. Hall with four. Walpole with two. KJ Quarter. Forgot about KJ. He also has four points. Make it a dozen now for Braylon Hawkins as he scores to put Champion up by 12. For Southwestern at Venice, it's uh, Justin Lamb with eight. Five for Eric Pfeiffer. Four apiece, Viadex Gold and Brooks. Two for Levi Rogers and two for Smith. So it's going to stay Knights basketball as Viadex will inbound it here. Smith, top of the key. Gold gets right around the defense of Garcia and scores. Billy Gold, I mentioned in the first half, in his last three games averaging close to 18 points per ball game. He's got six tonight. How about a three? No good by Hall, who got that ridiculous dunk to open the half. Lamb, top of the key now. Viadex trying to drive on Williams and scores. So if they can get Viadex and Gold, their two top scorers with a couple players out, Kavon Williams and Byron Fields, can, uh, Knights can maybe make a little bit of a run. They cut the deficit down on an 8-2 run. Nice turnaround there by K.J. Quarter, who's now got six himself here tonight. Billy Gold breaking the press himself. Viadex. Here is Hazelton from the elbow. Malik the Rent with the rebound. Quarter. Williams. Garcia steps to his right for three. And Hazelton with another rebound. Hazelton hasn't scored, but he's had a couple of steals. A couple of nice defensive plays for Tyler Woldridge and his shorthanded Knights. Mentioned it in the first half. Tigers are just off the plane from Hawaii where they played two exhibitions against uh, Division II's Hawaii Pacific and Chaminade. A lot of people think, I mentioned it during the women's game, but uh, a lot of people think that Chaminade, because they host that big men's basketball Division One tournament that's always on ESPN, if you're a late-night hoops guy like I am, uh, you probably watch a lot of that Hawaii tournament. It's hosted by Chaminade, but they are not a Division One school. So they play in that tournament, they host that tournament, and they bring all the big Division One teams to that tournament, but they are a D2 program. They've gotten some wins against some uh, high major teams, too. Steal and scoop and score for Williams, and I think we're going to get a timeout here. Champion has opened up their biggest lead now at 14 points. Southwestern and Venice with some things to talk about. 16.36 to go in the ball game. Right now, it's all champion.
Be back with you, Knights fans, on the 18th against Dallas Christian. Well, I mentioned the high-flying act for the Tigers. They're a hoppy team. Xavier Hall with the alley-oop dunk to start play in this second half. Champions built a 14-point lead. Tigers fans, by the way, I'll be back with you on Tiger TV on YouTube. Uh, Dallas Christian taking on Champion on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Champion will be at Barclay on the 16th and home again on the 20th against Arlington. Billy Gold blows right past Garcia for a second time. So Billy Gold now with eight points. Josh Walpole in the game. He'll pull up and bury a jumper, his second of the night. Knights fans, uh, you saw that. We're off for a little while. Seven-game slate in January for the Knights. Four of those will be at home, but the next three are going to be on the road. In fact, it's a three-game road trip. Then they'll play the final three at home. Jumper good there. Apologies, I didn't see who got it. I think it might have been Levi Rogers. I have to go back and take a look. We got some buffering going on at the uh, gym here. So... Uh, Okay, it looks like we're looks like we're okay here. Looks like we're okay here. Some shuffling will set the uh, five on the floor here for you in uh, just a moment. That pass is going to be thrown away. Walpole with the steal. A.J. Williams down low, Laurent to Josh. His baseline shot is no good. Viadex has the rebound. Pfeiffer pull up. Yes. Eric Pfeiffer with seven points, and it's a 12-point game. We've played five minutes and change here in the second half. We're just underway. Walpole looking for the extra pass to Malik Laurent. And who's that going to be off of? Looks like it's staying with Champion. More shuffling. Mo Capace keeping me on my toes. Dylan Hopkins into the game now. And that shot is good by A.J. Williams. So Williams has 19 now. He really heated up at the end of the first half, AJ. Buried three three-pointers as the Knights look to make a run in that first half. Bowman is in. Catch and shoot. He's got another triple. What do they say on inside the NBA? Pull! He's just got that trigger. Now a steal by Hopkins. Bowman will step to his right. Pull again, no good. Hopkins tips it. Got the offensive rebound. Williams fakes the three. And is fouled from behind. Got the bucket. Williams with 21 in the game as he tries to complete an old school three-point play here. Williams, a 77% free throw shooter. Puts his team up by 20. AJ, uh, 12th in Division II with 20.8 points per ball game. Improving on that number after tonight. He's already got 22. Billy Gold attacks over Laurent. Not an easy task. Hopkins for the Tigers into the forecourt. Williams down low to Malik. He's got the size mismatch, but he blows the shot. A.J. Avilas is into the game. He scoops it to Pfeiffer. The reverse no good, so we didn't see A.J. in the first half. He's in here in the second half. Now Billy Gold's got a steal as a frantic pace is broken out. Billy Gold in double figures on the goal 10. So Gold's got 10. 13-12 to go in the game. 
these teams won't let me breathe enough to go back and see who scored. I missed. So my stats are going to be a little bit off because I've given up hope. <laughs> A.J. Williams now will bring it up for the Tigers. And hang on, we've got a whistle here. So issue with the clock is resolved. Now here comes champion. Oh, they cannot leave Bowman open. You cannot do that. Four three pointer for Damian Bowman. He's got 12 points all from downtown and champion is pulling away. AJ Avilas, Billy Gold had it deflected out by Josh Walpole. Inbound goes to Hazelton. Viadex turns on the Jets and he will score. So Viadex with eight points. Bowman thought about it. Now, he, now they leave AJ alone. He didn't shoot the three though. He goes down low to Hawkins who's back in. Couple of seniors in sync. And we got a timeout. It's all champion here in the second half. We will step aside and come back in just a moment. Welcome back, everybody. Got a inadvertent whistle there with a little over 12 minutes to go in the game. Champion up by 21. A.J. Williams has 22. Braylon Hawkins, 14. Damian Bowman with 12. Josh Walpole with 6. 6 for quarter, 4 for Hall. For Southwestern Adventist. A.J. Avilas into the game. Lone player in double figures, Billy Gold with 10. Eight apiece for Viadex and Lamb. Seven for Pfeiffer. Four for Brooks. Four for Rogers. And four for Felix Smith. Bowman. Hopkins, A.J. Williams, Braylon Hawkins, and Josh Walpole, the five right now for champion. Patient offense, Walpole with the pump fake and bucket. So he's up to eight. A.J. Avilas, Felix Smith, Gold, Viadex, and Hazleton, the five for Southwestern and Venice. Here's Hazelton. Step back. They let him have it, and he misses. Williams has the rebound. Williams down low to Hawkins. Ooh, two defenders in the air, and Braylon Hawkins scores. 16 for Braylon. 25-point lead for Champion. Champion was sixth in the most recent D2 poll as Josh Hazelton gets on, Josiah, excuse me, Hazelton gets on the board. 
Hopkins pull up in the lane short. Tip for the rebound. Walpole has it. Puts it up and in. So Josh Walpole in double figures now. Four players in double figures for the Tigers. As they are pouring it on here in the second half, we have another timeout. We'll be back. Welcome back, everybody. Looks like the Knights having trouble getting it in, so they're going to call another timeout. All Tigers by 25 here tonight. Knights able to get it in this time as we're back to live action. Active defense there by Garcia as he deflects it out. Champion, this was a relatively tight game. Champion led by eight at the half. They have blown it wide open here in the second half. It's very similar to our first game where the uh, champion women came out a little bit flat, but were able to pour it on in the second half against the uh, Swayu ladies. Lamb contested jumper is short. Hawkins with the rebound. Glover is back in, so Taz Glover out there. Garcia, Hopkins, Walpole, Hawkins. Here's Garcia for three. No good. Walpole the rebound. Back out to Garcia. He'll try it from top of the key. It's short again. And that's going off the Tigers out of bounds. More shuffling. This deep Tigers team. Why do I bother setting the five? Quarter is back in the game. Hall back in. And in for the first time is Cade Wilson. In the corner, Hall for three, no. Garcia tried to save it. Here comes Viadex for the Knights. Viadex, nice fake, gets by two defenders. And Ephraim Viadex joins Billy Gold, two players in double figures, now 10 points apiece for the Knights. Viadex, now the ninth time in 10 games that Viadex has scored in double figures. Only one game earlier this year, Viadex was in single digit scoring. Averaging 12 points per ball game, a consistent weapon for the Knights. As he takes a contested shot, buries that one. Viadex with 12 now, matching his season average. Hall left wing. Glover top of the key. Hall gets around Rodgers to the hoop. Xavier Hall. 
He averages uh, 15 a game. He's only got six tonight, so he's been quiet by his standards, but that loud alley-oop dunk showing off his athletic ability here. Rodgers now looking to post up. The big guy draws contact. Levi Rodgers will go to the line. Four points tonight for Levi. 6-9. Can't get the uh, free throw to go. 43% at the line this year for Levi. <laughs> Missed them both. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm... You know, second game of the doubleheader. We're late in the second half. You guys know by now the kitty cat is starting to get a little antsy. Hall for three. Can't get it to go. Anyway, she's hanging on every word. She's just glaring at me as I do this commentary. I don't know if y'all are paying attention, but I know at least my cat is listening to what I'm saying here tonight. <laughs> Oh, it's going to stay, it looks like, with the Knights. That was deflected. So 19 to shoot, 7.5 left to go in the game. Here's Lamb. Down low, Rodgers again. Hangs in the air and scores. So Levi Rodgers with 6. Step back by Hall. Billy Gold, the rebound. Xavier Hall, 32% from downtown. He's got the ability. Taz Glover over-aggressive yet again with another silly foul. But the uh, three-pointer's not falling tonight for Xavier Hall. Lamb had it poked away. Pull up. Missed it short. Follows his miss. And runs himself out of bounds. I think he was looking for a foul call. He might have had a case too, but they I would rather the officials let him play. Where I am in the Carolinas, there would have been three fouls called on that little sequence alone. It's ridiculous the officiating here in the Carolinas. Absolutely ridiculous. Mainly Eastern Eastern North Carolina in particular. Horrible officiating there. So far, I've been impressed with the Texas, even to, at champion. Three ball by Wilson off the back rim. In Arkansas, the officials are usually decent. They have their moments at champion, but they've been very good in Texas. Billy Gold with a nice move to get himself open. 12 points for Gold. Matches Viadex for the team's lead. Entry pass deflected. Viadex quick hands. Now he'll bring it into the forecourt. He'll attack, and he will not score. Quarter back in the game pulls down the rebound. Down low to Hall. Extra pass to Wilson. Wilson puts it up no. Wilson looking for his first bucket of the year. Instead gets it out to the cutter. And that shot by Garcia, no good. How about Taz Glover doing some work? No, the bucket, no good, but Taz is fouled. Hustle points, opportunity now for Taz Glover from the free throw line. Taz Glover, that's his first point. Uh, Pfeiffer has come back in. Lamb goes out. Glover gets both free throws. Looks like he's going to skedaddle, and it'll be... Uh, Josh Oglesby is coming in for the first time, number three for the Tigers. So Mo Capace emptying out his bench a little bit. So Bowman, Oglesby, 
A.J. Williams checks back in. Quarter and Malik Laurent. That's the five right now. Tigers another foul. Hazelton out there. Rogers, Pfeiffer, Gold, and Viadex. That's the five for Southwestern Adventist. Hazelton out to Gold. Gold with the fake open three. Yes! Billy Gold continues his hot streak up to 15 points here tonight. Started slow. He has really picked it up offensively as the season has gone on. KJ Quarter over two defenders. Quarter's got eight. Pfeiffer into the forecourt, immediately double teamed, looking for some help, and what do we got here? Jump ball going to be called, so it'll stay with Southwestern and Venice. So Pfeiffer to inbound, 17 on the shot clock. We'll be with you again, Southwestern and Venice, on the 18th of January. Still working on a couple of makeup dates as well. Southwestern and Venice men have had a couple postponements. Shot clock winding down. Gold fading to his left. Couldn't get it. A.J. Williams tried to go behind the back. It deflected. Rogers with the steal. Viadex now, top of the key. Pfeiffer directing traffic as Oglesby guards him. Pfeiffer got some space. Noonan into the game for the first time. That's to various Noonan. Ball deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with Champion. I'm pretty sure everybody has played for the Tigers at this point. Contested jumper, A.J. Williams. It's missed. That's a nice box out by Hazleton. Kid just ran out of room, though. It's an unfortunate break. So Oglesby will inbound it. Noonan had trouble with it. Hazleton another steal. That's his third tonight, I believe. And Hazelton gets his second bucket. Has not scored much this season. Getting an opportunity to get a start here today. And he's, you know, that's the thing. You, you get an opportunity, you prove your worth. He's not lighting it up offensively, but I guarantee the defense he's played. That was a nice job. Uh, boy, they can't let me get a word in edgewise here. Uh A.J. Williams drew all the eyes on him, left Malik Loren. Of course, A.J. fouled him. But as I was saying, with regards to Josiah Hazelton and some of these other players for the Knights, you know, you don't have to light it up offensively. If, if you're stealing the basketball, getting the rebounds, doing the little things, uh, coaches will find time for you out on the court. It's the only way I played. Shot like 17% for my career. <laughs> but I started. A.J. Williams turns on the Jets. He's fouled. So Williams will go to the line. Put a little extra stat padding for A.J. here tonight. It's been another good night for Williams. 22 points in the game for A.J. Caught fire late in the second half. In the first half, excuse me. Williams will. Uh, usually bury his free throws pretty consistently. I said 77% on the season. Laws of statistics say he misses this one. Analytics people. Nope. 24 for AJ. 
I mentioned he's also second in dimes in Division II. He's got five and a half assists per game. Now it's a steal by Champion. It's Oglesby. His first bucket, Josh Oglesby. Champion has this uh, developmental team that they instituted this year as their first year. So a lot of these guys, Oglesby, uh, Ken Cannon, who's also on the roster. Well, not tonight, but sometimes he is. Hopkins, Noonan, Wilson. Those guys get a little more run with the developmental team. And then they come in here, whether it's mop-up duty, whether you have injuries, whether, you know, whatever the situation might be, because of that developmental team, these guys, you know, they've got their legs under them. They're not coming in cold. Hazleton at the line. Bonus time in the final three minutes for Southwestern and Venice. Oglesby into the forecourt. Here's Williams for three. Yes, A.J. again. 27 for A.J. Palindrome score, 85-58. Levi Rogers, quick trigger, no. Williams bounce pass to the cutter. Laurent blocking foul, going to be called on Pfeiffer. That is no way to reward Eric Pfeiffer for sacrificing his body, but that's what they call a blocking foul going to send Malik Laurent to the line. As a guy who was very undersized who tried to take those charges, oh, it used to irritate me when these big guys would run me over and they'd call a block. Like, come on. Give me something. Malik Laurent with the air ball. Felix Smith back out there. Toby uh, Smythe. Smithy into the game for the first time. Daniel Brooks returns as well for Southwestern and Venice. It's Smithy. Ball don't lie. Laurent missed them both. Smithy in the corner now. Cross court to Brooks. Nice pass. Brooks for three. Yes. That was a great assist there by Toby Smithy off the bench. And we got a, a whistle. I think it's going to be a timeout, quote unquote, to get some subs in as uh, Kate Wilson checks back in for Mo Capace. Noonan back out there. Garcia, Bowman, and Oglesby. That's the five right now. Correction. Kerrigan is in for Bowman, I believe. Prove your worth time here in Keene, Texas. Smith for three. Got it to go. Oglesby. Here's Garcia to the bucket. Yes. Yes. That's Garcia's first points. Ooh, Smith fell down, kept the dribble. They try to tie him up. He gets the pass out to Smithy. His pass deflected, but it's off Wilson out of bounds, and the Knights will have 14 on the shot clock here. Knights, unfortunately, still searching for that first victory. They're going to be on the road. It's going to be a three-game road trip in three days. They're going to be at Andrews University. They're going to take on Andrews in one of the games. They're going to take on Great Lakes Christian. I know their coach pretty well, and he's a good one. they got a good program up there in Michigan. And uh, they're going to take on Union as well. Nice hanging shot there by Daniel Brooks, who's got nine points. Wilson thought about it. Cut up on the baseline, and Pfeiffer with the steal. Pfeiffer bounce pass to Rogers. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Noonan. Numbers for the Tigers. Noonan throws a rocket. <laughs> Got to take a little bit off that next time for uh, Mr. Noonan. 
When you're that close, a softer touch. So we're inside a minute to go. Levi Rogers to the bucket, a circus shot, and they, they call a foul on that. That was not a good shot. I would not have bailed him out with a whistle there. But Levi Rogers does draw contact, so he goes to the free throw line. So after that road trip for the Knights, which will be the weekend of the 13th, we'll be back with you the following week on the 18th. Dallas Christian is in town. And then again on the 20th for the men. That's going to be a triple header for me. Tigers fans, I'm going to do your double header on the 20th against Arlington uh, after that game for Southwestern at Venice is over. So I'll be busy. Shot clock is off. Tigers are going to run it out. They're going to go to 6-2, and 4-1 and one in Southwest region play. Tigers fans, head over to Tiger TV on Tuesday. I'll be with you here on YouTube against Dallas Christian at 7 p.m. Knights are going road tripping after a uh, short break as they fall to 0-10. And 0-5 and and losing today to the Tigers, 87-66. to Thanks for watching, everybody. And have yourselves a great night and a good weekend. Happy 2021.